What's up guys, Sanitary103, thanks for watching another video. So I came across an article in the uh, New York Times and it's entitled, The More We Learn on Nutrition, The More We Ignore. And uh, the whole premise of this article, and it was done by uh, Jane Brody, the whole premise of this article anyway is that even though we have all this information on all these different types of diets, and because we have so much information at our disposal, whether it's the internet, books, uh, on TV, magazines, there's all this information. Even though we have all that information, people are still getting bigger and fatter. So even though we have all this information, why is it that Americans and people in general are getting bigger and bigger? One of the premises that the author uh, mentions is that we get too much information. We get so much information that a lot of times people get really, really confused. And I can definitely see that a viewpoint. I mean, if you're not experienced with uh, health and fitness, it can get a little bit overwhelming. I mean, one minute it's a uh, low carb is the way to go. In the 80s, it was high fat is bad for you. Now it's low carb, high fat. There's ketosis. There's now veganism, vegetarian. There's just so many different types of diets. South Beach diet, Atkins diet. With all this information overload, it's no wonder that some people are still not applying what they know because it's just too much information. However, the author does point out correctly that this overabundance of information is not the sole reason why people are getting bigger and bigger. It's really, really easy to overeat. I mean, you go down to a regular grocery store and the majority of the food is a lot of junk food. There's a lot of fast food joints. It's really, really convenient. And the portion sizes, if you compare portion sizes from the 1960s uh, for a hamburger, like a little patty supposed to be the size of a deck of cards. I don't have a deck of cards, but you know, that's pretty small. And now like at Carl's Jr. and other places, you're getting like double, triple, quadruple patties. In addition, a lot of junk food is pretty, pretty cheap. You get a bag of chips, you could get a couple, two liters of soda for a couple dollars. Whereas if you try to eat organic, eat wholesome, eat lean proteins, it's going to come at a cost. So that's another contributing factor why people are getting bigger and bigger. And in the article, she also points to a big contributing factor, which I agree with, and that is sugar. People consuming a lot of sweetened beverages, colas, uh, orange juice, cranberry juice, just a lot of candy, sugar in general is becoming a big, big problem. They did a study in which uh, people that uh, drink, let's see, where is it, uh, drink um, sugar sweetened drinks, uh, they uh, took in 572 more calories each day from both drink and food. So people that tend to drink more soda, we're consuming more calories. Now correlation does not always equal causation. A lot of studies and a lot of people like to blame sugary drinks for causing other people to uh, overeat. Now that could be the case, but in my personal opinion, people that tend to drink 16 ounce sodas, 20 ounce sodas, those people in general are already eating bad. So it's the correlation is not always equal to causation. You can't blame the soda altogether, but it is something to definitely look into. Another interesting statistic in the article mentions that um, from regular sodas alone, it went from 27 gallons per capita in 1980 to 40 gallons, from 27 to 40 gallons in the year 2000, and doubling in the prevalence of obesity in the United States from 15% to about 30%. And although soda sales have actually declined just a little bit, we're still on the eight ball. Because of all these problems, a lot of kids are getting diabetes at a much early age, increasing your uh, risk of a stroke, cardiovascular disease, heart disease, all that really, really bad stuff. So that's pretty much the gist of the article. She mentions about the overabundance of information and she also talks about sugar. I have no qualms about the article. Uh, one quick thing I did want to point out um, in this video is that with the first part with the whole abundance amount of information, this is where it gets to a point where sometimes you gotta go with the KISS method. That's the acronym for keep it simple stupid. Um, a lot of times it can get a little bit overwhelming, but the majority of people, if you have somewhat of a half a brain at the very least, you know that drinking uh, 12 beers in one sitting is probably not a good thing, right? Well, you should probably treat a slice of pizza the same way. You shouldn't eat a whole large pizza just like how you shouldn't uh, drink a 12 pack of beer unless you're trying to get smashed on purpose. So this is just a lot of common sense and keeping things simple. Even if you're new to health and fitness, Go for a brisk walk, just move around a little bit more. 
cut down on the portions, get a little bit of more physical activity, and also watch your diet, watch the portions. And if you do this and you make gradual changes, drink a lot more water. Like the article mentioned with sugar, you wanna limit your sugar intake. A quick example, someone who's overweight, let's say they're consuming like 35, 4,000 calories and they're gaining weight. If they were to keep their same diet and just exercise a little bit and cut down on, let's say they drink two or three sodas a day, one soda typically has about 140, 150 calories, a 12 ounce can of, of uh, Coke. That's 450 calorie deficit. Once you hit 3,500 calorie deficit, you're gonna lose weight just by even not altering your diet. So these are just small little changes, simple changes that should be uh, implemented and taken into account. That's it for this uh, video, and I would love to hear your guys and gals' thoughts. Uh, have you tried a lot of different diets and or do you get really, really confused when the media one day has this new sexy diet and the next minute they have another diet? Does this get a little bit overwhelming and how does it make you feel? Comments and questions are always welcome. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Adios.